the Kings 4, Minnesota Wild 3 in overtime uh, after the Wild are able to erase a two-goal deficit uh, to the LA Kings and then taking the lead late on a Yule Eriksson at goal. Uh, the Kings are able to uh, get a late goal and then get the win in overtime. Uh, just from the Minnesota Wild perspective, I mean, you, you have to be pleased that they were able to erase the two-goal lead. I mean, NBCSN did a lot of work reminding us how good the Kings are when they score first, lead after one, go up by two goals. Uh, the Wild were able to erase the deficit on goals from Zach Parisi and uh, Eric Stahl, who had his 39th of the year, which is now second most in team history for a single season. Uh, so hat tip to him. And then, of course, the, the Erickson Eck goal with uh, just two and a half minutes to play in the game. And you're thinking then the Wild are going to steal a win from the LA Kings when they led 2 to nothing. But uh, Dustin Brown getting a, a deflection goal uh, late in the third uh, with like 30 seconds left. And then, of course, Jeff Carter winning it in overtime. Uh, not sure what more you can do on that overtime goal. I mean, Devin Dubnik was right for poke checking that puck off of Kemp Bay's stick. It, it just unfortunate it deflects right into the slot where a waiting Jeff Carter was uh, hoping it would land, and it certainly landed on his stick, and he scores. He scores those kind of goals, and that's something the LA Kings were missing early in the year, uh, which is why they're really in the heart of this playoff chase. They didn't have Jeff Carter up until, you know, what was it, a month, month and a half ago. And, and so that's that's been a big boost for them. And, you know, he paid off for them tonight. They got the extra point. And I'm going to kind of take the glasses half full approach here. Um, just the Wild get a point. I, I had little hope going into the game. They were going to get two points. They, they seem to have let down in games like these where they have an extended break. Uh, coming on, so getting a point here is good. It solidifies their place in the the Central Division. Um, they're still sitting at third. I believe they're now six points up on uh, the wild card teams, the Avalanche, of course. Um, and then you've got the the mix of teams: Dallas Stars, Anaheim Ducks, St. Louis Blues, uh, LA Kings, um, fighting for that last spot. So uh, glad to see the Wild at least got a point. Now they're going to get some. Uh, days off here. They got four days in between games. Uh, next game is on Saturday, and so hopefully a little R and R for the team will will do them good. I'm sure it will at least do the older guys good. So that's that's what the that's what you can hope for. So uh, Nashville is on the docket for Saturday, and then Boston on Sunday. Both home games. A weird back to back uh, home games. So we're going to hopefully see the Wild have a good uh, effort on Saturday. It uh, should be a playoff-like atmosphere against the Nashville Predators, who have won now 14 out of 15 games. Uh, they are the best team in hockey. It's not even close. Uh, we'll be very curious to see how the Minnesota Wild come out in that one uh, against the best team in hockey in Nashville. In their final meeting of the season, the Wild have won two out of three. So that is uh, what you can look forward to on Saturday and then Sunday will be the end of the season series against uh, the Boston Bruins. So, yeah, I think that can wrap it up for me here. Uh, we hope you enjoy the long break. Uh, during those four days, I would highly encourage you to check out uh, Giles and the Goalie podcast, episode 142. We had Dane Mizutani of the Pioneer Press, TwinCities.com, join our show. Uh, and then... Uh, I also did a guest spot on the new Gopher Hockey Puckcast uh, on ZoneCoverage.com uh, where we talk about the end of the University of Minnesota hockey season uh, and then we ponder the future of head coach Don Lucia. So we really take a deep dive into that. So do look for that on ZoneCoverage.com. So with that said, uh, have a lovely rest of your week and we will talk to you on Saturday. Later.